Hey guys, wanted to get you one last quick video of the Wheeze Man before he comes home in, in a little bit. Um, so we're in my backyard, got some dogs around. Um, I want to do some just obedience out here and then go through a little scenario work in the house where we just kind of get ready to go for a walk um, and show you what he can do. So just go ahead and get started. Wheezy, heel. Good boy, there it is. So give him a little bit of guidance with my e-collar if I have to. Um, but this is what I want. Him standing in a nice good heel right next to me. Um, he's not having a leash on or anything. Doing super good with it. We got other dogs hanging out out here with him. So some good distractions. Weezy, okay, come on. Good. He likes to go into a down. Very good at the downing now. Come on, Weezy. Good heel. Good. There we go. Weezy, down. Good boy. Good. So I'm going to walk away. Let him hang out. Um, those dogs are out there behind him. Come here, girls. Ryder, Jazzy. Come on. Kind of get these dogs moving around. Come on. Good job, Wheeze. Jazzy. Come here, Jazz. Good. Good boy, Wheeze. He turned to look at me, and that's okay, because I was kind of calling another dog. But as long as he stays in that spot, I'm okay with it. Jazzy. Good girl. Good, Wheezy. Good man. So, yeah, he's got some good impulse control around dogs. Okay, buddy, there we go. When he looks at me, go ahead and give him that release word. So let's go ahead and go through the house. Or actually, let's go ahead and... Wheezy, come here. Good, Wheezy, place. Good, I've got a place bed out here on the deck that I've been practicing with. So I'm going to walk over and pick up a leash. And he's going to hold that place command um, the whole time here. And good job, big guy. Good job, we. Sorry, forgive the state of my porch. We're getting stuff all cleaned up, huh, buddy? So this is what I like to do when I'm getting ready to go on a walk. Grab his leash, have him on place so he's not getting underfoot or trying to run up, you know, out the front door. If you're inside, he's not trying to run out the gate. If you're in the backyard, you can do this is the same thing with a down command with this. I like the place command because it gives him a little bit more of a chance to relax. Um, you see he's all leashed up, ready to go. I'm gonna wait for eye contact. Oh, so close. Okay, there it is. Good boy. Come on, Wheeze. And now we'll, we'll go ahead and walk through the house. So I'm not, he's not in a heel or anything right now. Just gonna go ahead and walk him through the house up here. Wait. Good boy. So open that. I'm gonna just let that leash drag. I don't think I quite need it right now with him. Okay, buddy. Good boy. Come on, Wheeze. Turn some lights on in here. Good job. Come on. Good boy. So in the house, this is how I want him to be set up for the next little bit with you guys. Have him just dragging a leash, wearing his e-collar every day. He doesn't have to heal with you perfectly through the whole house. He just has to be um, with you so you can supervise him. Wheezy, come. Come on. Good boy. Place. There you go. Get him um, on a place bed in the living room here while I get ready to go out the front door. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and walk away from him right here so you can see that he can hold it. And he's, you know, you guys know the place command. Super easy, um, super good way for dogs to get um, calm and to be under control when people are over. When you guys are watching TV, he's not cuddling up on the couch for the next little bit with you. He's going to be on a place bed, kind of learning to stay calm on his own. And uh, yeah, do really good that way. So I'm gonna put him in, the, in this crate over here too so you can see how he's doing with going in and out of the crate. Wheezy, come. Let's go. Good boy. Wheezy, kennel. Let's go. Come on. Go in your kennel. Good boy. That a man. It's kind of dark, but you can kind of see it right there. Good job, Wheeze. Good boy, able to shut it. He's in there. Did super well with that. What I like to do with the, the kennel, cause he's not, you know, he's not a huge fan of it. Not all dogs are huge fans of the kennel. Um, instead of using the stimulation on the e-collar, I use the vibration, which is, um, well, it's hard to see that number there. He's on a seven, but um, it's the T button over on this side. So that's what I use as kind of a cue for him to go into the kennel. And when I let him out, Wheezy, wait. He's got to wait very politely. Okay, good boy. I know it's dark in there. You couldn't really see, but that was really good for him. Good job, Wheeze. Good job, buddy. So we'll go ahead and get out the door here. Wheezy, wait. Good, good boy, not bolting out that front door. He's not on a place command, but he's on the place bed, and that's okay, he's just waiting. So I got this front door open, he's holding that weight really, really well, good. Okay, buddy, okay, here we go, wait. Good, I like him to wait at that front step too, if you have steps, um, just as a little practice so he doesn't bolt straight away from you. Heel, good, if you don't have steps or anything, what I'll do is just 
they heal right as you right after you release him from the weight so he goes right into a heal command good boy um, he's a little bit tired we just went to the park <laughs> come on good boy but I picked up that leash gonna go ahead and do a little bit of walk in here come on heal don't let him I don't let him slow down and sniff or anything like that he's got to stay right here with me um, and like I said this heel doesn't have to be perfect with him I just want him to act polite on a leash not pull you everywhere but he's got a really solid heel so doing super good with that now I'll go ahead and drop that leash come on good boy doing super good that leash is trailing behind him I think the weight of the leash kind of makes him slow down a little bit so I'm not gonna be too upset if he's a little bit behind me oh come on buddy good boy there it is good man wheeze good wheezy down good we've got some kids walking by right up there I'm gonna have him hold it down in the shade here it's getting warmer so I'm working a lot in the shade for these guys so doing really good he sees them there but as long as he holds that down that's all I want good job buddy good job Louise and this is important to work on impulse control around people because he is so jumpy and when you work on impulse control and holding it down um, when people walk by it's gonna help him understand that he's got to be calm around people and even though there's a bunch of kids that walk by anything like that he can't just run up and say hi he's got to hold it down okay come good boy or come to me when I call him good job Weezer come on good boy now if they were to come over and want to say hi that's okay I'm okay with that he can say hi to people but what I would do is make them hold that down they can come up and wait and